Dallas Park. Thank you so much. Uh, it is uh, it is good to be back at the University of Maine. You know, the last time I was here, it was in the heat of a very long and very tough campaign. I promised to be a president who would build a better future. Who would move this nation forward. Who would ensure that this generation, your generation, had the same chances and the same opportunities that our parents gave us. A few miles from here, the House of Representatives will soon be voting on a plan that would finally make student, the student loan process simpler and more affordable for millions of people. This plan would end the billions upon billions of dollars in unwarranted subsidies that we hand out to banks and financial institutions. Money that doesn't do anything to make your loans any cheaper. Instead, we're going to use that money to guarantee access to low-cost loans no matter what the economy looks like. We'll use it to strengthen Pell Grants and Perkins loans to make college more affordable. We'll shore up our system of community colleges. There are still those in Washington who are resistant to change, who are more willing to defend the status quo than address the real concerns of the American people. What can I tell you? They're still out there. We're facing the same kind of resistance on another defining struggle of this generation. And that's the issue of health insurance reform. For so many Americans to be routinely denied quality health care because they don't have any insurance or enough insurance is absolutely disgraceful. And no less troubling is the effect that out-of-control health care costs are having on our economy. Rising costs are crushing American businesses, especially the small businesses that are the sources of so much of our economic activity and economic vitality and economic power. Just to make sure you're clear, here's what you need to know about our plan. For those who have health insurance, you'll have more security and stability. It'll provide insurance to those who don't have insurance. It will slow the growth of health care costs for our families, our businesses, and our government. Let me, let me say, if you already have health insurance, nothing in this plan will require you to change what you have. What this plan will do is make the insurance you have work better for you. Because under this plan, it, it, listen up, young people. Under, under my plan, if your parents have health insurance and you're currently on their policy, you will automatically be able to keep your coverage until you're 26 years old. When I sign this bill, it will be against the law for insurance companies to drop your coverage when you get sick. Water it down when you need it the most. They'll no longer be able to place some arbitrary cap on the amount of coverage you can receive in a given lifetime or a given year. We'll place a limit on how much you can be charged for out-of-pocket expenses. In the United States, nobody should go broke because they get sick. When I was running for president, I never said change would be easy. Change is hard. It's always been hard. Civil rights was hard. Getting women the right to vote, that was hard. Making sure that Social Security was there for our seniors, that was hard. Getting Medicare in place, that was hard. I know there are doubts that creep into people's minds. I know there's a tendency during tough times for folks to turn on each other and get mad and get angry. But our history tells us that each and every time we faced a choice between the easy road that leads to slow decline or the hard road that leads to something better, something higher. We take the higher road. I, you know, some of you remember during the campaign, we had a slogan, fired up. Not everybody here knows how this story came about. You look behind me, there's this small woman, she's about five feet, five two. She's about, about 50, 60 years old. 
And uh, she's just, she, she's dressed like she just came from church. She's got a big church hat. And she's looking at me, she's smiling, she says, Pilot! Come to find out that there's a city council member from Greenwood. Uh, she also, by the way, moonlights as a private detective. True story. True. True story. But she's mainly known for her chant. She does this everywhere she goes. She, everywhere, at, at any event, football game, you know, at a, at, a, at a city council meeting, she says, fired up. And everybody says, fired up. I'm ready to go. Everybody says, ready to go. So for the next five minutes, she keeps on doing this. She says, fired up. Fired up. Ready to go. Ready to go. And I realize I'm being upstage. <laughs> so it just, it goes to show you, and this is so important for young people, it goes to show you, one voice can change a room. And if it, a voice can change a room, it can change a city. And if it can change a city, it can change a state. It can change a state, it can change a nation. If it can change a nation, it can change the world. We will change the world with your voice. We need the voices of young people to transform this nation, to meet up to the meaning of its queen. I need your voice. So I want to know, are you